So here we are, documenting something that a few people have asked me about in the past. Anybody who's gone to any parties at cons where tool members show up or where I show up, usually going to notice these dog tagged handcuffs. We call them the party cuffs. We just like bringing them around so everyone can try, you know, shimming out of them, picking out of them, generally just having a good old time. The shims we use are pretty disposable. I mean, we don't expect to see all of them when the night is through. And that's okay because we use a really kind of cheap homemade shim for this purpose. You can make it out of tensioners, specifically the Southern Ordnance Tensioner Number 11, also known as the Stupid Tensioner or the Way Too Thin Tensioner. Uh, it's only silly for use, you know, in a lock, but I personally think there's nothing better for a homemade padlock shim. All you need is a little pair of pliers of some kind. And with a few twists, you can snap this in half and make two very workable cuff shims in almost no time. Step number one, straighten it out. It's going to give you a piece of metal almost four inches in length, a little less. That's okay. You only need about half this to make a good shim. So go ahead and grip right in the middle there and bend a few times till it snaps. There we go. Set that aside for later. The side we've broken. Grab it almost at the midpoint. You want a little bit of extra material, about an inch of material sticking out this end. And bend that back to a nice gentle angle. Maybe, what is that, about a 120 degree angle? A quarter inch from that bend. I don't know if we can see this a little bit over the dark surface. There's our angle about a quarter inch from that bend grip again and bend over bend this all the way around so now you've got this shape an inch sticking out here about a quarter inch up quarter inch over about a half inch totally left on this top piece that you want to bend up into a little Y and there you go very ideal, very useful, very simple handcuff shim. Designed to be, of course, inserted under the bow, clicking in, separating the bow from the paws by over tightening yourself with one click. I like this little Y shape because it's very convenient for anybody trying to do this one handed. You know, you want to click down on the bow and click the, the shim deeper in between the, the bow and the paw. At the same time, that should be able to stab down. Hold it in place, and sure enough, you'll be able to slip out of these. Let's try that right now. There we go. All right, now remember, as far as it can go, can't go much further, but click and hold. Now it's sunk in, comes right up. A lot of fun, really easy to do. These cost what, about a dollar? Instant, instant, instant panic of shim for no money at all. Just a little time and a little bit of tools. Have fun out there.